All right, so good evening. <laughs> oh, friends. <laughs> Good evening. Um, for those of y'all who have not figured it out, um, I'm Khadija Abdullah. I'm the Interim Executive Director here in Alabama, and I am just so excited to be with you all this evening. Um, so I hate to like do a, a late welcome to my city, but welcome to Birmingham. So I apologize for not being able to be with you all over the past couple of days, and so I'm welcoming you all at the end. So this is much more of a, a farewell, um, but thank you for being here. Um, the past few days have been, um, as you all have probably imagined um, and watching the news, a bit tumultuous for the city and the state and along the entire southeast coast. Um, a lot of our, our community, um, I think that's a word that I heard coming a lot from our, our students, just, just really rallied together. Um, this is not a state that gets a lot of snow, um, as you can see, and so uh, we just were not prepared for this weather. Um, and unfortunately, lots of our, our family members and community members spent the night on Tuesday um, in their vehicles on the highway. Um, I was one of the lucky few who actually, you know, was trapped inside of my home, but still um, nonetheless could not really uh, be mobile and join you all. So I apologize for not being able to join you all, but um, I do want to just share a few thoughts and I only have just a short while with you all, but um, something that I've, I've heard that just really resonate with me um, that I think Brianna just said a moment ago, which just said, um, I'm not one of those people who quits. Um, and I think that that just resonates so much with me when I think about just the power of Alabama as a state um, and a community. And so as you all have probably heard over the past few days, uh, this community just rallies together um, and we don't quit. And so um, 50, um, last this past uh, year, this entire city um, and our state has just been reflecting on what the past 50 years has meant for us. And we are really beginning to reflect on what the next 50 years will be. And I am just so, honored and humbled by your presence here tonight, but also hearing from our students and our community members about just the community that we actually have um, and that spirit of Alabama, which is just a legacy of not quitting. Um, we dig in our heels when the time gets tough. And so um, our children have been just such a monumental part of our story. And so I just wanna tell you just a little bit and then I promise I'll let you get to your dinner. Um, children have just been such a huge, um, part of why Alabama is such a phenomenal place. And I am actually the fifth of nine children. Um, and I grew up in a community probably about five miles from here called Titusville, also the same community uh, Ms. Jennings that you all heard from also grew up in. Um, my parents, my mother also grew up in that community. Um, and she was also one of those children um, who participated in many of the demonstrations that you all have heard about probably all week. Um, something about Titusville, and uh, hopefully Ms. Jennings will also attest, is that parents cared a lot about their children this community cared a lot about their kids. And something that my mother shared with our core back last September, um, I asked her to come and speak on the eve of the 50th anniversary of the 16th Street Baptist Church, and she was friends with one of the young ladies that was killed that day. Um, and something that she shared was, you know, parents, one thing that they tried to do in terms of shielding their children, they realized they could not shield their children from the world that was around them, but one thing that they did do was instill a lot of love for one another and every single person they encountered, but also, help them to understand that education is a way to free themselves um, and also open up opportunities to, to new uh, things for themselves. Um, so I, I'm really proud to announce, just in, in addition to Ms. Jennings, uh, there are so many individuals in this community and across this country who are Titusville community members. Um, our <laughs> Stevie Rogers, who you just heard, who's a part of the, <laughs> uh, a shameless uh, shout out there. Um, but Stevie Rogers, who's on the, the GNL team, um, is a Titusville member. We grew up across the street from each other. But some other more prominent individuals, uh, Condoleezza Rice, our former U.S. Secretary of State, is a Titusville community member. Our current uh, city mayor, Mayor William Bell. Um, Freeman Habrowski, the University of Maryland, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, that president, that's a Titusville community member. Um, I am a Titusville community member. My sister, who's a national columnist, Halima Abdullah, and former White House correspondent, Titusville community member. And so hopefully you all are seeing that, like communities, there are a lot of interesting things and a lot of connections, but it all came from a place of love. And so I just wanted to share that that's the legacy that I come from. Um, that is the legacy and the work that is happening here in Alabama. Um, I joined the Corps um, in 2006 and moved to South Louisiana and taught there. Um, 
SLA. Um, and while I'm, I'm really, I was really um, overjoyed with the work that my students um, were able to accomplish while I was in South Louisiana, my heart beat so fast um, for Alabama as a state um, and the opportunities that I was hoping were happening here. Um, so in 2010, Alabama actually was launched as a state. And now we are on our eve of our fifth year as a Teach for America region. And yeah. Um, and as I, as a child who grew up in this city, um, I just have to be very honest with you all, this, this moment is just surreal for me um, that you all have chosen our city um, and our state to have this summit. And so I won't, won't hold you from dinner too much longer, but I, I hope that the message from Brianna really sticks with you all is that this is a community that will not quit on our children. And so I am inspired by that and hoping that you all leave with that. And so I'll just share a couple of examples really quickly about how I know this community has not given up on our kids because there's some real hard realities here. One in four of our ninth graders will not graduate from high school here in Alabama. Of those who do graduate, just over half of them are gonna go to college. And of that group, still over 30, just over a third of them will still actually have to take remedial courses. As a person who did not grow up with means, taking remedial courses means that reduces the likelihood that I'm probably going to be able to finish school because I can't afford it. Um, so the realities are, here, are real, and I have a lot of pride about this state and our work, but there are some real harsh realities. And so something that I'm inspired by um, as I hear these students are some of the things that are happening right here in this city. Um, down the road where the Teach for America office is is a location called Woodlawn. Um, right now the Woodlawn Innovation System, um, they've actually just contracted with the city um, to guarantee that every single student that finishes their high school, once this program is initiated, will finish high school with an associate's level degree when they finish high school. In addition to that, the University of Alabama at Birmingham, where we would have eaten on Tuesday, um, they've actually partnered with many of the community colleges in this state, and any student who completes their associate's degree at those community colleges is guaranteed admission to the University of Alabama at Birmingham with a scholarship. So I, I, I just wanted to share those examples that, you know, this is not a place that quits on their kids. And so while the realities of our work are real, um, I am just inspired by our students and inspired by the way this community has rallied. And so, you know, as I sat in my house and, and watched Twitter and was on my Facebook of Snowmageddon, I guess you call it, 2014, um, I was just really excited about the urgency of this community as people sat on the freeway and people sent messages out and people were pulling over on the side of the road to rescue essentially people who were sitting in their cars for hours and hours and hours. Um, and so my hope for this city and what I know will be true in the next 50 years is that this community again will rally um, and our children will prevail because just as I saw the urgency and the way this community rallied in the last few days to rescue our teammates, to, re to rescue our family members, um, I, it is my hope and my belief that this city and this state will once again um, rally and our children will prevail. So with that said, um, please enjoy your dinner. Um, I'm excited to get a chance to connect you all. Um, thank you for letting me hold you between dinner and um, have a good evening.